one more time. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Do I have a witness in here? Come on, put your hands together and give the Lord praise. We thank God for those so many in the sanctuary this morning and those who are watching us virtually. Uh, we thank God for your presence with us this morning, being a part of this worship experience. Uh, God is good all the time. Uh, let me do this. Let me give you this scripture first because I don't know how long this iPad going to last. Amen. It, see, you, technology is fine, but technology can bring problems as well. Amen. So our scripture will come from Psalms 105. Psalms 105. And we'll look at verse number 5. I, w I want to deal with this uh, this morning. Uh, it is not new to us. It is not new to me, uh, but I want to deal with it this morning. Psalms 105 and 5 says, remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and his judgment of his mouth. I need you to look at your neighbor and uh, you ain't got to touch them and you're socially distanced. But please tell your neighbor, say, this is why. That's all we're going to talk. This is why. Amen. Now, uh, before I go into the message, let me just go ahead and, and uh, get this out of the way right quickly. Um, number one. Uh, we want to uh, say to our, our beloved sister Henry, who is celebrating a birthday on today, we want to bid her a blessed birthday, and may God continue to bless and keep her as she celebrates her birthday. And on yesterday, and while I'm on, I'm going to say happy birthday to Cheeks. She had a birthday yesterday, and we bid her many, many more, her 18th birthday, and so we are very proud of her, and may God keep her. Uh, also, this week, you and I had the opportunity to see our worth and our value in this country. Amen. If anybody is under the illusion, amen, that we are all equal and the same, you are doing just that. It's an illusion. Hello, somebody. The truth of the matter, the truth of the matter is, if there were 10 African American people that approached the steps, they would have killed 30 of them. <laughs> I need you to catch that. Amen, somebody. They would have shot each one at least, ten, at least three times. <laughs> they would have killed them at least three times. If not, they would have went and found brother, sister, uncle, or cousin and killed them because they were thinking what they did. Amen, somebody. We are in a deplorable state. And I've already made my, my feelings known. Those who know what to see my Facebook page, uh, 45 need to go to jail. There were lives that were lost. Amen, somebody. There were lives that were lost. It was, it was sad. And nobody thought that you would ever see something like this in this country. United States can't say nothing to nobody. Hello? You don't need to be going in no other country telling no other country about how they ought to handle their own affairs when you elect a fool. Amen, somebody. Reverend James Marshman preached a message, and it came from Psalms. He, he preached a message. He said, a fool on a mule in the middle of the road. Amen, somebody. I never forget that. Amen. I need something with this mic because this mic is acting crazy. Amen. He preached the message, a fool on a mule in the middle of the road. That's I never forget him. He preached that message. Amen. Many, many years ago. 
And uh, uh, so uh, I remember that and will never ever forget it. But nevertheless, my brothers and sisters, the, the fact of the matter is we, we are in a, a, a very deplorable situation. But hear this, watch this, watch this. We ought to stand up right now and applaud the state of Georgia. Come on, let's, let's give Georgia some love. Amen. Electing the first African American senator from the state of Georgia and all throughout the state, we have taken back, amen, the Senate. Lord have mercy. I ain't supposed to be talking all this stuff from, but amen. We give God praise. Look at your, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is why. <laughs> I'm already preaching. Have your seats. Let us, let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, Lord, we thank you for this time. Uh, you've been good to us, and we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. Our desire is to hear from you, Lord. Speak a word in this place. Strengthen the hearts of the saints, O God, and draw that which is lost, that they might be drawn to the marvelous light. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. This is why. This is why. My brothers and sisters, uh, this 105 Psalm is, begins with a call to worship. It calls us to uh, begin to worship by giving thanks. Hello, somebody. Give thanks unto the Lord. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you ought to have something to be thankful for. In spite of the fact of our present moment and circumstances that we are all experiencing in life, we are in the midst of turmoil with our government. Uh, 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 there are people who are stricken by this pandemic. Amen. We don't. We can't see our loved ones the want, the way we used to see them. Uh, we are trapped inside our houses. Uh, some of us are scared to go around anybody. Amen. We no longer can see each other's faces, but we are covered with masks. We are socially distanced from one another, and it just seems that things aren't getting any better, but seems like things are becoming worse. The numbers in our hospitals are going up. Death is Go, the death rate of this pandemic is hitting records every single day. It appears that the numbers of those who are affected by this pandemic is the numbers are going off the charts. And yes, there is a vaccine, but the, the rollout of the vaccine is far slower than what was in anticipated and it seems like we're going backwards rather than going forward we are in a situation where we are in an economic decline jobs are few and far in between businesses are closing People are unemployed, and every month it seems that there are more people collecting unemployment than those who are going to work. And we live in a time where the government is more interested in protecting billion and trillion dollar companies than taking care of the citizens that work in the companies. Oh, my brothers and sisters, this appears to be a very dark time in our lives. But still in all, in spite of all of that, my brothers and sisters, 
Psalms 105 urges us, invites us to give thanks unto the Lord. My fact, matter of fact, my brothers and sisters, you just ought to understand that in order to experience what we are experiencing, one first has to be alive. Can I talk to you for a moment? Matter of fact, my brothers and sisters, listen, if you are just looking at the bad that is going on and you can't realize that in order for you to see the bad, that means your eyes have to be open. That means there have to be breath in your body. Listen, matter of fact, you ought to just say, Lord, I thank you. And whatever the day brings, I just thank you, God, that I'm in the day to experience the day. Do I have a witness in here? Before you start complaining about your aches and your pains your arthritis your rheumatoid hello somebody whatever ailments you have you ought to say Lord I thank you that I'm able to feel something this morning I may not be the best but I know you're still good to me. I wish I had a witness in here uh, you are still good to me in spite of my matter of fact if we really do two columns if we do one column about how good God is and do another column about about how good we are I will guarantee you God's column will outweigh your column every time because the truth of the matter is there is nothing good in us hello somebody but we serve a God that in spite of us he still blesses us <clears throat> can I talk to you for a moment I'm not gonna hold you long but my brothers and sisters we are called in verse number five to reminisce about how good God has been. I'm a firm believer that, the, that in the fact that we are Christians, uh, uh, we ought to uh, always be uh, pressing forward. We always ought to be looking to the mark. But every now and then, you need to reminisce about where the Lord has brought you. Yes, at the same time, I also believe that we should occasionally look back, look back not for the purpose of returning to our old lifestyle or the purpose of, 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 of reliving the bad times or for the purpose of recounting all of our disappointments and, and all of our sinful attitudes, but we ought to see how we have progressed. Do I have a witness in? here uh, in our walk in Christianity somebody ought to be glad this morning that you ain't the way you used to be you don't curse folks out as much as you used to you don't drink as much as you used to hello somebody you don't do some of the things that you used to do because there has been a change in your life and by no means my brothers and sisters can we stand in the place of perfection but we're standing and in the place that the Lord is still working on us. Do I have a witness in here? I have not gotten to where God want me to be but at least I'm headed in the right direction. Do I have a witness in here? And for that alone, this is why I praise him. When I look back throughout my ministry I remember that many lives that he has changed. The souls that uh, he has touched. The bodies that he has healed. And oh, the many doubts that he has removed. My brothers and sisters, when I, when I look back throughout my ministry, I've seen how many problems he has solved and the needs that he has met. My brothers and my sisters, when, 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 when I look back, I can remember and see the glory that he has revealed 
time and time again how he has made me to realize that even in my darkest moments that he was and he is the light that is shining and guiding me through some of the dark times and spaces in my life. I wish I had a witness in here. So there have been times of tribulation but somehow we made it through. There have been times that we've been in some tight y'all ain't in here situations but but I remember he still brought me out. And I don't know about you, but if we would call some witnesses to come and say, this is why. Look, you can call on Daniel and Daniel will testify. The reason why I give him glory is because I found myself uh, lying uh, in a den uh, and left for dead. Uh, I was supposed to be consumed uh, by the lion, uh, but the Lord uh, made the lion, uh, y'all don't hear me, uh, a craftmatic uh, so I can lay down uh, and rest easily. Uh, y'all ain't in here. I believe uh, if you call Shadrach, uh, Meshach and Abednego they would say this is why I wouldn't bow this is why I stand tall because when the devil meant evil God turn it around do I have a witness in here he, they threw us in the fiery furnace to kill us but those who threw us in were consumed before we got in do I have a witness in here this is why I praise him let me tell you something those who will do you harm y'all don't hear me will end up hurting themselves y'all ain't in here that's why you ain't got to do nothing the words that hold your peace and I Y'all ain't in here. Fight your battle. And I come to tell you, look at your neighbor. The reason why I praise him, because the battle is not mine. It's the Lord's. Do I have a witness in here? Y'all ain't in here. But I tell you, I dare you to take two minutes and look at where you are and think about where you could be and you gotta give God praise y'all don't hear me oh I better preach this thing because I'm remembering from things I don't know about you but every time I pass a cemetery I look at it and say I should be there but I'm over here and I gotta praise him do I have a witness in here anybody in here want to give him thanks this is why I jump so high this is why I scream so loud this is why I can't be still cause the Lord is so good ain't he alright see ya This is why. Because when I thought I was by myself, I found out he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. This is why the psalmist called them back to remembrance. The Lord made a covenant with Abraham 
that his seed would be blessed. Hello, somebody. Thank God for being the seed of Abraham. Come on and give God some praise. He made a promise. And he is a promise keeper. This is why I praise him. I praise him because I've known what he's already done. And if he don't do anything else, he's already done more than enough. This is why I can't keep my mouth shut. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, when I think about how the Lord blessed me and I'm so undeserving, this is why. I praise him the way I do because he's been good to me. This is why I raise my voice. I lift my hands because God is good. Not just because of what he's done, but because of who he is. When you see me smiling, when you think I should be crying, it's because I'm thinking about how good God has been to me. <laughs> when you see that there's chaos all around and I'm still walking like I have joy, it's because this joy I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. This is why. This is why. That in spite of some of the pain and pain, the aches and pains that I may experience, I still find a way to say, Lord, thank you. This is, this is why that even I might not be able to have steak today. Maybe I only can have a, a, a hamburger, but I'm still going to praise him because he promised I would not go hungry. Or that his seed would be begging bread. This is why I praise him. Because I, every now and then, you know, as some folks get older, the memory seemed to slip away. Amen, somebody. But as long as I can just remember that he's still on the throne, I'm going to give him praise. It may come a time I might forget my name, but as long as I know his, do I have a witness in here? As long as I know his name. Hello, somebody. I dare you. Think about how good God's been to you. Ponder how far the Lord has brought you. From the very rocking of the cradle to this very moment. You know, there's a saying, from birth to the hearse, it always could be worse. <laughs> Hello, somebody. But learn how to be grateful for where you are and what you have. Because somebody got it worse than you. Hello, somebody. Don't, don't, don't covet anybody else's blessing because you don't know what they've been through in order for them to be blessed the way they're blessed. Huh? Amen, somebody. Just thank God that you have the activities of your limbs and you have the ability for your chest to go up and down without the assistance of a machine. This is why I praise him. 
this is why I, pr I praise him. Because while I was lost mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the world of sin, mm -hmm. I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. But yet he knew me. Before I existed, he knew me. He knew what my needs would be. And so he went on a hill called Calvary. They hung him high and stretched him wide. They nailed him in his hand and in his feet. They pierced him in the side, put a crown of thorn on his head. He dropped his head in the laps of his shoulder and said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. He died. This is why I praise him, because he died. He paid a price for me. This is why I praise him. Because he died. But that ain't the only reason why I praise him. Because he died. But early. On the third day. Huh, he got up. With all power in his hand. This is why I praise him. Because through his blood. I've been redeemed. I've been washed. In the blood of the lamb. This is. Why I praise him. Because. I remember. His marvelous works. I remember. I'm reminded. Every time I open my eyes. In the morning. Of how good God is. Every time I walk out my house and the sun is shining I'm reminded how good God is but there are days when I step out of my house and the rain is falling I still remember how good God is sometimes I walk out of my house the snow is falling I remember how good God is. Sometimes when I walk out of my house, it's quite cold outside. And then I realize what I got on my back and on my feet. And I remember how good God is. The other day, the other day, I went to get in The, the Acura, my SUV, press the button, deep, nothing happened. Pressed it again, nothing happened. Let me show you how good God is. I got out of that vehicle, went back in the house, got another set of keys <laughs> went to the pickup truck turned the key whoom, yeah. <laughs> and went on about my business <laughs> because the Lord is good yes, <laughs> did what I had to do amen well somebody said well, well listen pastor Oh, that's nice. You had another vehicle to go to. But you know what? If I didn't have another vehicle to go to, watch this. I'm going to show you how good he is. Because in order for me to get to the vehicle that wasn't working, I had to travel on two legs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, somebody. The two legs are are connected to two feet. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't in, in here. And just to be able to put one foot in front of the other, y'all ain't in here. <laughs> See, some of us are so caught up on the big things that you bypass yeah. the little things. Yeah. I remember. When I used to walk from Hamels to Beach Channel High School, 
And, it, and that's when we used to really have some winters. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen, somebody. I remember when I used to walk from Hamels to this church. Lord have mercy. I remember. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to tell you a story. I remember one day I was, I was um, walking. I used to meet Deacon Coulter down here and help him clean up the church. I used to help him clean up the church. And uh, um, one day I was walking back home. And as I was walking back home, uh, I got jumped by some guys and they robbed me. Okay? Um, so I had um, some cousins that um, you know, one of them come to church here and uh, they, they, they was like, oh, we gonna, we gonna handle this. I told them, I said, nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Some years later, some years later, the same individual, mother died. He come calling me. Now, I had done forgot about this. And so I did, took care of the services for him. He came to me, he said, I know you might not remember, but I was in a bad state years ago. I was messing with drugs, crack, and I was doing some bad things. So said, remember, I robbed you. I robbed you. And I, I, I just want to beg your pardon because I realize that what I did was one of the worst things that I did and one of the best things that I did in my life. Wow. I looked at him and said, what, you, what do you mean? He said, because after that day, I could not rest. I could not get comfortable. I, I didn't know what was going on with me. But that was the last day that I got high. That was the last day. That was the last day that I smoked crack. He said, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm, I'm not where I need to be, but I'm a whole lot better than where I am. He said, I'm, I've never stole nothing from nobody no more. He said, so I want to beg your pardon, and then I'm going to give you something. <laughs> he handed me $500 because he was so remorseful for what he did. And what I turned around and did for him. And so he, he said, he said uh, you know, I, I, I just want to thank you. Not for you doing what you did for my mother, but for you being the catalyst for me to change my life. And my mother was able to see the change before she died. You just don't know what position God will allow you to be in to be a blessing in somebody else's life. Huh? Now, if I would have told my cousin, let them do what they wanted to do, it could have turned out a whole different way. Amen. But sometimes you got to just... Hold your peace. Let the Lord work this out. Amen, somebody. Praise God. We thank God 
for each and every one of you, those who are watching us virtually. God bless you. We thank you. We want to extend the invitation that maybe there's someone who may not know Jesus, who may not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We extend to you the invitation to come. Shall we stand? Jesus is calling. Those who are watching us virtually, you can uh, leave your information and we'll uh, respond back to you. We thank you for being a part of the worship experience with us today and we pray God's blessing upon your life. If there's one, they can come. Amen. God bless you. you may have your seats. As we prepare now to receive our offering, let me just say to those who are watching us virtually, we invite you to be a part of the giving ministry of the church. Uh, you can uh, give by Give La Fly or Cash App, uh, or uh, you can mail it directly to the church. Uh, you should see up on the page the different ways that you can give. We thank you so much for you participating and worshiping with us this morning. We pray that something that has been said and done has been a blessing to your life and encourage you to walk closer with the Lord, to trust him even more in your situations and your circumstances. Uh, we thank God for you. We are praying for you. Again, we ask you to pray for all those who are affected by this pandemic. We ask you to pray for our nation. Amen. Pray for our nation. Amen. That God will bring peace in the streets. Amen, somebody. Again, we want to pray for families who are in bereavement. Amen. All across uh, this land, matter of fact, on this week alone, there is four funerals here at Macedonia. This week alone, there's four uh, families who are in the midst of bereavement, and so we want to pray for each one of those families. And I did hear, I don't know the information, but there were two brothers that was killed in Miami that's from Rockaway. I don't know the, the full details of the information. I was just told on uh, uh, yesterday, last night, matter of fact, but we want to keep those families in prayer. Listen, you don't know what anybody